Okay, so we talked about the seven components of digital storytelling, and now we were talking about the steps that we are supposed to follow when creating a digital story. So we discussed the planning part where we will be organizing our idea. And then we will move on to the step three where we will start working on our outline. Outline is the first version or first draft of the script that we are going to use in our digital story. Then using the storyboard, we will put together the narration or script we have created and the pictures, videos, and illustrations that we have chosen for our digital story. In the step five, we will film and record using the digital storytelling software. In step six, we will finish up and the next step will be publishing and sharing your story. Last month's sessions told you about the, um, the importance of taking digital storytelling process to the next level. So after you create a digital story, you publish and you share it, you don't stop right there. You keep coming back to it. Um, you have to monitor the progress of your digital story. So how many people like your story? How many shares you get? And after some time, you should ask yourself reflection questions like, did you achieve the goals you had for this digital story? as we did the last time. Then this step is called the reviewing step. Basically, we will be creating a digital story in these eight basic steps. So let's get started. For the month of November, the topic we have chosen is under one sun. Take a look at the picture. This picture gives you a clear idea of what we are going to talk about in our digital story. As you can see here, two kids are on a wheelchair, which means that our topic will be connected to children with disabilities. Exactly, we will be addressing the issues of children with disabilities this time. As a teachers, we often come across the children with disabilities, especially nowadays Uzbekistan is taking the path of inclusive education, which means Children with disabilities also study at the same classes with normal children. So sometimes there can be some issues that you want to speak about, some issues that you want to tell other kids about the special kids. As a teacher, let's just take a look at their lives and at their feelings for this month. Well, why this topic? Let's let's give some background information about this topic. Uzbekistan initiated the process of integrating children with special needs into mainstream educational institutions soon after the independence. Personally, I have experienced an inclusive classroom in the school number 34 in Shaykhontohur district when I was teaching there as an uh, as a second, uh, English as a second language teacher. So I had two classes to inclusive classes where I had children with different disabilities. Some of them could not walk, so they visited school on a wheelchair. Some of them had Down syndrome problems. So it was difficult and challenging to address the needs of these children at the same time with the children who normally acquire the program. So how should we, when teaching this kind of special uh, with this kind of kids with special needs i had many questions in mind so i really wanted to encourage them i really wanted them to stay in this class because after some time they felt that it was too difficult for them to study in the same class with normal children and then they again uh, got back to home education but how can we make their experiences easier by explaining other kids to be more open minded and welcoming towards children with disabilities. So since independence, Uzbekistan has moved from inclusive education viewed as ensuring schooling for dis dis disabled children to inclusive education, which means that everyone can study under one roof. So both children with uh, normal health and children with disabilities or special needs can study in the same classroom, which of course creates challenges for teachers and 
teachers will have to develop certain strategies to address the needs of this kind of students. Well, based on modern technologies and equal accessibility of education for all children, irrespective of disability status or any social, emotional, cultural, or linguistic factors, inclusive classrooms made a great progress towards uh, helping these children to maintain a normal social life. Home education can seem to be safe for children with disabilities, but usually in the classroom, they get more chances for social life. They can make friends. They can fully enjoy the process of education. So as a teacher, let's take a look at the problems that they may experience in the classroom. Maybe some of you already have experience of teaching children with disabilities, or maybe you have heard about it, you have read about it. Can you please share some of the, some of the background information you have? What kind of issues can they face in the classroom uh, when everyone is studying together? Well, you can write your opinion on the chat or you are welcome to turn on your microphone and just give us your ideas, your opinion on that. Do you think that there are some issues that should be addressed when teaching children in, a, in an inclusive manner in classrooms together? For example, in English classrooms, as most of us are English teachers here, Okay, so here we are getting the email saying that, okay, most of you don't have an experience on that. So let's just take even a closer look into their lives. So as you can see in these pictures, children with disabilities have different learning needs, but here we are not going to discuss this learning needs. We are going to address their social needs more. So children with disabilities often feel left out. In the classroom, alongside with children with um, normal health, they feel like they are different. And sometimes this difference can seem to be negative for them. They feel that they are, they are not just like everyone else. And you can just see it on their faces. That's why the aim of this workshop is to help children with disabilities to feel comfortable in inclusive classrooms. The main objective of this month's workshop is to create a two, three minute digital picture-based story, again, about children with disabilities, but this time using more complex effects, narration strategies, and text. Let's get started on that. So again, our first step will be developing an idea. Well, digital story is nothing but an idea. So digital storytelling does not exist if it does not contain an idea. In order to have a story, there should be a, an idea that causes that question and then story comes alive. So in order to get this idea on the topic, sometimes on the topic that you have nothing to say about, we have some strategies. Last time we have tried brainstorming or drawing our ideas. Some of you had really successful brainstorming or brain maps. We can listen and read and research further on this topic, or we can look at some photos on Google we can think about our personal knowledge or talk with someone who has experience of teaching children with disabilities. We can ask our friends, family, teachers, or colleagues in order to get more information on this topic. So let's start on the, let's, let's start right here. So we will be brainstorming our ideas in the first place. But in order to brainstorm the ideas, you have to have some background information on this. What I would like you to do is at home, when you have time, please take a look at some 
scholarly articles addressing the problem of inclusive education and social needs of children with disabilities in your home countries. Um, most of us from Uzbekistan. So we'll be taking a look at the problems children with disabilities are facing in inclusive classrooms. If you have your own experience, reflect on that. Think about that and try to connect it to, the, to this idea under one sun. So all the children are equal, irres uh, irrespective of their social needs or disability needs, they have right to equal education at school. So how can we make this experience more smooth? Um, how can we help them not to feel left out, not to feel different in a negative way? So this is going to be the big question we are going to address in this workshop. That's why I strongly recommend you to research on this topic because this topic is not, is not the one that everyone has experienced. Experience. So in order to understand the topic, please make sure that you read and listen or watch on this topic. Once you have some information on this topic, Let's just ask some basic questions about this topic. So what is your personal connection to this topic? Do you think that this topic is important for you? Do you think that you have something to say on this topic? Personally, I have something to say on this topic because in the classroom, I have seen other kids, not when the teacher is present, but when teacher is busy with something, they had really bad manners, bad behavior towards children with disabilities. I had a really um, smart kid with disabilities, but other kids kept mocking him and it made his experience at school very difficult. So I really wanted to encourage him not to pay attention to them and to, to continue on his journey. So. This is my personal connection. This is the feeling that I got from this classroom. So what kind of what kind of feeling or what kind of experience did you get from, from the research that you had? The next question you will be asking is, do you think that the notion you came with will be motivating to the audience? In our case, the audience is mostly teachers or students when you share these digital stories with your students. So will it be motivating? Will it call them for change? Will it explain them that children with disabilities have certain feelings that normal children don't understand? Will, them feel, will it make them feel children with disabilities? Will them make them accept and understand children with disabilities? Then, is it relatable? So can you really relate to it? Do you really have something to tell about the story? And what your story will be about? Will it be a personal experience? Will it be just uh, your own opinion? Or what kind of information you are going to include in this two or three minute video? And also think about the supporting materials. What will you be using in the story? We will still be using pictures because uh, recording videos and editing videos requires some basic skills. So first of all, we will learn on how to work with pictures and step-by-step, step, then we will turn on to videos. Now think about the data, videos or music you would like to use for this digital story. When you have your answers to these questions, feel free to share them on our Telegram group so your peers can review it and watch it and give their um, opinion on the, on the answers that you came with. So this is the handout you will be working on on our Telegram group. What are the story ideas you would like to share? Is it motivating to audience? Is it relatable? So you will be answering to the questions we have discussed about. Please just, when you have time, fill in these blanks and share it with us on our Telegram group so that we can just take a look at each other's ideas and learn from each other and give our feedback to each other. So here we have a simple story to watch. 
the simple story is connected to education, this story will be a sample for you. Uh, it's going to be uh, an, an example. So you will be basically creating a digital story similar to this. I will be sending this link to you. So you will be watching this digital story and this digital story will help you a lot. It will give you an exact image of what I expect you to do. And of course, brainstorming the ideas will take some time. As we have done last time, we will be using MindMaster software in order to create, in order to create brainstorm of our ideas. Let's just, let's just start on that. We are going to visit this website again. So MindMaster, I'm sure that you guys have access to that because last time you worked on that successfully. I have seen some of yours mind maps. It was, it was really good. Okay, here we are on mind mapping website. On the mind mapping website, we will be choosing the, we will be choosing the samples. Here we have brainstorming. We are going to use this brainstorming sample. Okay, here we start. So, under one sun. All kids under one sun, they are equal, irrespective of their disability needs, and they all have right for education and for social life in the classroom. And how can we as teachers make this experience better? Let's start. So here, can you please give me some ideas? What can we put here? What kind of ideas can we brainstorm on this topic under one sun? Children with disabilities. Okay, social needs. That's one of the main ideas that we have to address. You can type on the chat or you can turn on your microphone and help me out here. Give me some ideas, please. Okay. Okay. All right, you're receiving a chat saying equality. Okay, let's include equality. Okay, equality. Under one sun, all the children are really equal. Equality, what else? That's a brainstorming. Feel free to give any ideas that pop up your mind regarding this topic. So we will organize and we will choose important and less important ideas later on. Now you can just basically write down any ideas that are visiting your mind right now. Okay, we keep receiving chats here. Respect, exactly, respect, probably respect towards the needs of other children, right? Okay. We can write here, respect, respect the needs. Well, friendly environment to create. That's a really good one because this is the main aim of this digital storytelling topic here. Friendly and let's put it like friendly classroom environment that fosters learning, right? Okay, so on this way, you can keep continuing doing your brainstorming. So this software, MindMaster, will help you to organize, delete, then later categorize your ideas. And it's very easy. All your ideas, everything that comes across your mind will be here, right? Right in front of your eyes. So encouragement and motivation. 
So it's connected with friendly classroom environment. Let's put it here. Encouragement and, okay. Encouragement and motivation, right. Sometimes children with disabilities feel unmotivated to study because they don't really feel safe in the classroom, right? That's why this really good one. So we can continue it further. Okay, some more opinions are sent to us. Feel safe. Okay, you just you just heard me saying that. Good. Okay. Feeling of safety. During my experience of teaching children in inclusive classrooms, I really felt I saw in their eyes that they have this feeling of fear. They are afraid. They are afraid that they cannot be accepted, probably. Support. Okay, support can be different. So we can support them in different ways. For example, we can support them socially. There can be social support. Or we can meet their physical needs because most of the times they have special physical needs. So, okay. Social, physical, and sometimes they need emotional support also. So this is also a good one, emotional support and etc. So this is the basic brainstorming we are having here. You can use this main master software on your own when you have free time. As I told you that uh, you have to choose your environment. If you work better under music, just put your favorite music on and keep putting down everything that comes to your mind. Or if you like working in silence like me, just enjoy the silence of your room and enjoy the privacy of your uh, workspace, wherever you prefer to work. Just put as many ideas as comes to your mind. And then you can organize your ideas. You can remove unnecessary ones or you can uh, categorize them as the most important and the least important. Once you have this brainstorming, you already have ideas in front of your eyes. Now you know that you have really something to share about on this topic. What I really expect you to do today is to research on this topic, to come up with your brainstorming, and just to tell me, do you, do you feel like creating a digital story on this topic? Do you think that there is something that you want to say about this children with disabilities. Do you think that you have a story to tell on that? Just, just think on that. Think on the reflection questions that I will be sending on our Telegram group. I will be waiting for your answers. That's basically it for our introduction session. So let's get, let's get started on brainstorming on our own individually now. And please keep sharing your um, brainstorming or mind maps with us on the telegram so that others will also take some encouragement from you others will learn from you because storytelling is for sharing and sharing is caring in our workshop right well thank you for being with us i will be seeing you next week and i hope that till next week i will receive finished version of your digital stories on the topic true colors of the rainbow we had really interesting ideas really touching narration some of you created and i really want to see it in a finished form i will still be waiting for you to receive this stories okay we are receiving the chat saying thank you well thank you for joining us and i hope that you will like this topic after researching on this topic you will have something to something to say on this topic. As a teacher, today or tomorrow, you will come across an inclusive classroom because now it's becoming very popular. So just try to be a step ahead. Just try to fill their needs, what kind of support they will need and what you should address in this digital story and choose your audience. Maybe your story will be addressed to these children with disabilities or you can address other children in the class 
who don't have any disability issues so that they will accept these children with disabilities. Or maybe they have something to say to their parents. Maybe you really want to empathize this, this uneasy task their parents are doing because with disabled children, parents usually visit the classroom. They sit every lesson attending to their needs. I had this kid who could not walk who did not have legs. So he was on a wheelchair and his mother kept, um, uh, his mother was attending school, every lesson, attending to his needs, listening and learning together. So maybe you want to really show uh, something on the side of the teacher, on the side of the parents, or maybe you are going to address a teacher who is dealing with the disabled children. Well, that's up to you. Just choose your aspect. Well, trained to have disabled kids. Okay. Okay, so some of you are having ideas that um, informed or trained to have disabled kids should be prepared and informed. Yes, yeah. Your digital story is going to be a really good information for other teachers who are struggling with this kind of classes or maybe it can encourage children with disabilities to enjoy their journey, or it can encourage their parents not to stop, to keep going. So whatever you choose to do, just think about this, brainstorm your ideas, whatever touches your heart, whatever touches you personally, whatever makes sense for you, this is going to be basic idea for your digital story. So think about the tools you will be using, address the questions, research on that, prepare brainstorming, and of course, share it with us. I will be seeing you next week. Wish you a very, very um, nice and enjoyable weekends ahead. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, sending me hearts. Thank you, thank you so much. See you next time.